Good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending the session today. Uh, as you all know, that we are having a 10 days of coaching, 10 days of training. So thank you for taking the time today to uh, learn more about Edge and different ways to be able to enhance your business. So today we're going to take about roughly 20, 25 minutes of, uh, of the time. And uh, any questions you have, please feel free. Uh, to either email support at mortgage coach after we're done the call. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and talk about what one of the most powerful presentations that's uh, been put together and sparks up a lot of conversation. And the thing that we're going to discuss today is what we call skip the bagel. Now, we all can relate to this. And the reason why is because most of us possibly drink coffee, or actually not possibly, but most of us drink coffee every single day. And so uh, I know the only thing that really works for me is a Red Bull coffee does not, does not do much for me. I understand that energy drinks are not uh, good for us. But in this case, this will touch uh, and, and spark a nerve in a lot of anyone we actually speak to. And that, this can also relate to us as well. Maybe most of us own homes or, you know, or have a mortgage at this point in time. So these tools and what we're going to be discussing is how we can share with our clients or our borrowers just to take a little moment to empower them on how different ways that they can pay off their mortgage a lot faster. If they take $5 a day for the next, let's say, 12 months or so, where every single day and they put it and apply it towards their mortgage, they'll essentially become debt-free in no time at all, depending on how much they apply, of course. But this is one way that you can have an initial conversation with also realtor partners. Uh, we've ha just heard a testimony from a top agent who showed this actual image to a realtor and showed them the presentation that we're going to show you. And he walked them through on different ways that he's going to help encourage or to help empower our clients, meaning his and, the and, and theirs, on ways to be able to pay off their mortgage a lot faster. There's one thing that we know that realtors love when we service their clients. So how do we put together something like this? How do we put together a presentation uh, that's impactful as this and be able to send it out and generate to our clients? Now, if you have existing database of clients, then I would recommend you create an email, maybe send it through your CRM, and attach one of these presentations that we're going to show you uh, in creating today. So one of the things that I'm going to ask you all as well, that if you have Android or an iPhone, what I am going to recommend everyone do at this point in time is to go to the App Store and search Mortgage Coach. The reason why you're going to do this is because I am going to be uh, providing everyone a link, and that link, not just yet, but the link that I'm going to be providing you, you're going to be able to see the exact same changes or demonstrations that I uh, create on this end. This is with our Mortgage Coach app, so again, if you have not downloaded it, you want to make sure you do that. This is a game changer, and you're also going to be able to show presentations to your clients uh, such as this. So with a mobile device, you're going to see in a moment what that looks like. Um, for those that have downloaded the Mortgage Coach app and you already have it up, you can feel free to type in uh, the link that I'm about to show you here in a moment. And uh, you're going to be able to see a personalized message from our CEO, Dave Savage. So just give me a moment. We'll get this up here shortly. And if you're curious, this link that you're going to see on my screen, you can definitely go ahead and view it. I'm not going to plug it into any type of chat box whatsoever. But bottom line is on my screen right now, you should currently see an iPhone an iPad, and also an Edge presentation with Dave Savage. Now, if you can see this link here on my iPhone, this is directly being teleported from my iPhone here, you can also go ahead and type in this link. When you type in this link, you're also going to see the same message from Dave Savage. So why is this important? Well, simple fact that in today's market, we need ways to be able to reach our clients wherever they may be. So this Skip the Bagel presentation, with the way that Dave Savage has uh, named it, is reinvest your coffee money and save. It's a simple conversation you can have with the client. So what we're going to do is if we, play, if we all play the same message, you're going to see now what your clients see as soon as they select the link that you send to them directly, whether that's via text, whether that's through an email, they can access these presentations. 
when they access the presentations, even from the mobile device, you're also going to notice that it's going to ask the client whether or not they want to watch the video. This video that you see in the background is exactly what's going to be playing. So if I select watch now, you're also going to see the exact same demonstration video that you're also going to see on this total cost analysis, which I'm about to play as well. So now there's three different ways that you can reach your client. So again, if you have an Android, you're going to be able to see these exact same images. The background is simply building a little bit, but I wanted to show you exactly how it's demonstrated through the mobile device. So this is why you want to make sure that you download it, because these are the types of presentations that you can now demonstrate to your clients wherever they may be. If we're in this background, bottom line is that once you add your video element, let me see if I could play it here. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn in my speakers. So that conversation you're having with the borrower, what questions you ask and what advice you deliver in the presentation, it really does matter. Bottom line, that's what Sibley what it's going to look like. Now the way this presentation is put together is you'll notice here's a purchase option on the top left hand side. Now with this Oh, so perfect. So there, I know some of you couldn't really hear the video. I just wanted to make sure you understood just how it's formatted. But if you download the link itself, you will be able to view the presentation and understand what the audio states. Now, in this case, this is a purchase presentation that you'll notice at the top is the overall headline. Reinvest again your coffee, money, and save. Bottom line is the two products here. First product is going to be the product that you're going to present to your client. Again, this is just a way where you can have an, an a conversation uh, and empower our clients on why they should continue to work with us, number one, and number two, why they should refer their, their friends or relatives to us is because we provide this level of service. When I was a loan originator, one of the things that I took the time to do is to be able to service my clients and I empowered them. Now, a lot of times I spent too much time in creating presentations via uh, spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets to show them investments on how, how they can move their leverage or their um, their assets or maybe if they wanted to pay off their mortgage a lot sooner, ways that they can do that. But with Edge, as we know, it's a simple presentation you can structure. Here's a basic report showing them their current details in their mortgage. And here's that if they were to apply an additional $150 right back as a principal reduction, they will roughly pay off their mortgage in 22 years. So when we say reinvest your coffee money and save, bottom line is you're empowering your clients to take the action that you're not going to be in this mortgage for a very long time. You can essentially become debt free and start pocketing the rest of that money. So that's Dave Savage's report there. What we're going to do today is show you how to put together this report. Now the first thing that I want to bring your attention to is number one, you have the Knowledge Base Center, for those that don't know, which can be accessed through Edge. Now, I'm going to go back in there and show you in a moment. But what this does is if you're not sure exactly how to structure this presentation because you're listening and maybe I'm going too fast, the bottom line is once you, t you go to your Knowledge Base Center, you're going to be able to see the presentation that you can create. So here is how to build the Skip the Bagel presentation in Edge. That's a training video that you can access, so make sure you leverage that. Now, how do I get to this Knowledge Base Center? Great question. For those that are on the call, if you have the opportunity to also, if you have two monitors, you can also feel free to take action in plugging in these exact same numbers and figures on your Edge pre, on your, in your Edge software. So put it on one computer, and also you'll have the webinar on the opposite side. The way to access Knowledge Base Center is through this help feature there at the very top. So by being able to access that, let me go back to it here. There it goes. So by being able to access that, if I select help, it's automatically going to take me here to this Knowledge Base Center at the very top. Now once it does that, for everyone on the call, you'll see right below walkthrough videos, strategies. Bottom line, this is where you're going to find that and any other strategies you'd like to use. So in this case, you're going to be able to see, here's Skip the Bagel presentation, and that's how you access it. So once we're in this presentation, as soon as I start, I'm going to start off by selecting new client. Now, because I'm going to select a marketing report, this is because I'm going to send it to a mass amount of emails. I'm going to go ahead and select, maybe into my database, pull up as many as I can of individuals that I have potentially, let's say, or are interested in purchasing. And I can go ahead and send this as a marketing report. If you'd like to send it to an individual, 
You can also do that as well. Just make sure you cap capture their first and last name in these few fields, and then you can move on to the next step. So the friendly name is just simply skip the bagel. That's the presentation I'm putting together. You're going to go ahead and advance to the next session. In goals, remember, there's not much to do here, folks. All we have to do is just identify one of the options. In this case, it's just a simple purchase that I'm putting together, and that's pretty much it. Now, mainly what we want to do is generally you want to capture anything that's featured in red. Now, there's ways that you can advance. However, because this is a simple marketing report that I'm structuring and putting together, you can go ahead and populate a purchase amount if you'd like as well, specifically up to you at that point. The affordability, same concept. These are two sections that are more probing questions you generally have with your client. So you can take the time to do so. If not, feel free to move to advance to the next session. Now let me show, share with you how top, my type of agents use this section overall. What they'll do is they'll capture their client's information to determine whether or not they would qualify. These are qualifying questions. What is your front end? Your front debt ratio. What is your back end debt ratio? Um, any current debt that you've uh, May, or that, that you've picked up lately, uh, any new vehicles that you've purchased in the past 30 days. This is how they would reference that. If you want to show a tax benefit to your client as well, you have the opportunity to do so. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to skip these two sections and write it to the meat and potatoes of the products overall. Now, when we get to this section, most of us should already have templates already built. If you do, then great. All you simply have to do when you get to this section is overall is identify the product name, which remember it's a 12-character field. Select a drop-down at this point. There you will find the products that you, were, that you would go ahead and use. Once you select it, it automatically fills in the majority of these fields. And then at that point, you can make necessary changes or updates that you need to. Once you've captured that, you're going to move on to the next step. Bottom line, you're going to go ahead and add any fees that are associated with the loan. You should have templates as well, which will be stored on the top right-hand side with this drop-down is at. Identify what that is. Apply to the loan. Then at that point, it'll go ahead and fill in these fields according to where it needs to be. You're going to advance to the last session. Now, if you think of it this way, the product sections have three different steps to it to each product, three different layers. Okay. The last layer has to do with monthly escrows. Bottom line is we've identified this is an FHA for now. We have the factor in place. We will make sure that we check off this box to calculate mortgage insurance throughout the entire lifetime of the loan. And that's why this is framed the way you see it here. Now because it's a marketing report, we will go ahead and exclude the monthly escrows. But you have the opportunity to identify that as well. It's specifically up to you. But know that they're, there, that they're here. They will not automatically populate for you. Now, here's a way where you can save a template if you'd like to do that. If not, what I simply do, have done is the second product that I created, you'll notice it says the name of this product is reinvest my $150. That's what we're going to show this client in this case that if you were to purchase today, I'm going to show you ways how you can pay off your mortgage. From time to time, we'll hear loan originators, and generally it's loan originators that fund, I would say, uh, between a, two or less loans a month. Not that, that there's anything wrong with that, but what I found out is that when there are heavy agents or top agents that, uh, from what we've known, that have closed about 10 plus loans a month, they always show an additional product to their clients. And the reason why they show an additional product is because they're taking the time to, again, empower their clients. And listen, you're making a great investment today, but let me show you a way on how you can become debt free so that you're not in this mortgage forever. That message and that service goes a long way. Most of us on the call like to be serviced. If we go to a restaurant, we want to make sure that we're serviced you know, accurately. And if once we're serviced and we have great service in that, to that restaurant or wherever it may be, we're going to come back. And that's the bottom line. So the way we can do this is if you don't have any other products to show a client, this is one thing that you can do is you can show your client that, hey, if you have an additional X amount of dollars that you can apply towards your payment each month, I'm going to show you a way where you can become debt free. This is where you ask questions whether the kids are graduating, um, how many children they have in place, when are you looking to retire. These are questions that we need to ask because Edge will do all the heavy lifting for you. So reinvest $150. The bottom line is once you create this additional product, you're going to notice that nothing really has changed here whatsoever. The only thing that has changed is the product name. So when you advance, all the details are the same from this first product and simply because of the fact that I selected initially this copy from option. So for those that want to see what that looks like, let me just go ahead and show you 
quickly how you can add an additional product and how quick that can be. So for now, let's just assume our client only has two different options. Okay? So if they have two different products and that's it, you don't have to provide more than that. But how quickly you can add an additional product, let me just show you here. This feature here will allow you, and if you select it, takes you right back to the product section here. Now this is how each section would look like. Now if I wanted to apply an additional loan here, let's just say it was a conventional, you can do so. And at that point I can copy, bring over the information from that product, and it would automatically fill in as you see here. We're not going to do that today, but that just gives you an idea on how we would create that. Now, in this analysis section, bottom line is this. This is what most of us see. The only thing you have to do here mainly when it's a purchase is identify one of these options. Whether we're going to show our client total principal earned or paid over the course of 15 years, which is the long term, comes to the bottom right, net worth or total interest in mortgage insurance paid. I'm going to go ahead and not leave it as total interest that the client's going to pay over the next 15 years, or I can change this and adjust it depending on what their goal and what, the, what they're looking to do. Maybe they're looking to stay in a home for 20 years. Maybe it's only seven. This is where you could use these graphs to make, to create your impact and the savings that you're going to be showing your clients. Okay, whoops, here we go, there we go. Now, in order to add that additional $150, let me show you how you do that. What you would do is you're gonna select this reinvestment option. This window that you see on the screen will now populate. So our second product here shows reinvest $150. So if the client had an additional $150, they can apply it towards their mortgage. This is how simple you can do that. Edge is very user friendly. So if I simply place my cursor here, enter in the $150 that we stated that the borrower is going to reapply towards their mortgage, and I select the enter option, what you all should notice at this point is that they are currently, will become debt free roughly in 25 years instead of 30 years. This service, this type of service and this empowerment here goes a long way with our clients and also when you're having and you're sharing this conversation with the realtor, you take a moment to walk them through and show them how you educate your client, their clients. They're going to be more prone to work with you because that's what realtors want is they want to make sure that their clients are taken care of. So once you've added the 150, you're simply going to select OK. At that point, you can also show your client here total net worth, which by adding that additional $150 over the next 10 years, technically they'll be worth a lot more because of uh, the investment they're applying. When you capture and you get to the end and you're ready to send out the presentation, remember you have the opportunity to print it out, save as a PDF, check off the box to be notified, and enable call button if option, if available. Quote date, obviously that would be today's date. And at this point, you would generate the link and it'll pull up the presentation at that point. Now here's the link that of course you would send out to your client and before you do so, you're gonna go ahead and add audio video at that point. So when you pull up the presentation, what takes place is that you're going to see this presentation here. So reinvestment 150, what do we show here? The reduction payment, which I can highlight at any point in time, you see the 150 here that's populated. Now, where can you show your client this? If you look on the top left, top section here of more information, what I'm able to do is once I select it, it takes me automatically to the reinvestment strategy section as well. There's three different labels here, but bottom line, this is where we added the additional $150 when we were back in Edge in the analysis section. This is the exact same replica of that section, it's just amplified as you can see, so that your clients can also see this as well. So as while putting together this presentation again, the whole concept is that they can share it, they can print it, they can do anything they'd like to do with this presentation, along with sending it via, via mobile. Now again, this is for a simple purchase. Now if you want to use it, this same tactic for a client that you've refinanced in the past, this is what that would look like. So in creating that type of presentation, it's the same concept, the only difference is you have your client's current mortgage, the title that you're going to select, and that's it. Now what you'll notice is that there's no reduction payment applied here. So we're not technically showing them how to skip the bagel and the coffee if they invest it. The real reason why this is blank and it's not showing the reduction payment is I wanted to show you how I would apply that and then demonstrate it for you on the mobile device, which we'll do here uh, in a moment. So I'm going to close that out. 
I'm going to go ahead and go back and look for my presentation. And now, if this was an annual mortgage review, which we have, tr which we already trained a few days this past week, this is just another way that you can change the report headline and switch it to a marketing headline that's catchy and that's attractive and sexy, if you think of it that way. Alrighty, so here's a mortgage. Uh, if there was a refinance, you want to tap into that lead source, going back, let's say, 12 months, maybe two years, to tap into your database to see how many clients you can send this type of presentation to to see how much traction you can get. This is a great report that you can put together. So here at bottom line, same marketing presentation. My friendly name now has to do with an annual mortgage review. I'm going to go ahead and advance to the next section here. Bottom line, this is going to be a refinance. I'm going to go ahead and check off that box, identify what that is, advance to the next section as well. Now in this case, what you'll notice is that I did actually identify a listing price here or a purchase price in this case, not a purchase price, excuse me, the appra not appraised, but here's an actual value that we identified here. Moving on to the next step. You're going to go ahead and capture all the client's data here from what you have in your database or your loan originating system at that point and move on. Bottom line, when you get to the products overall, same concept is you're going to go ahead and identify your title, the product overall. Is this a refinance? Yes, it is. Move on to the next section, and then you'll go ahead and fill in the fields just like we showed you in the first product. What I would also do is add a 15-year. The reason why you want to add a 15-year is because if you don't, your competition is going to anyway. So whether or not they can afford it, the client has at least options that they can think of. So all, everyone loves options. Trust me, if you go to a restaurant, and I'll use that reference again, and there are no options. They only strictly serve one burger, one, special, one specific meat, and one cheese. You're never going to go there again. So provide options to our clients. So let's go ahead and move on. So bottom line is once I have my two products on a refinance, I'm going to go back to the analysis section. I'm going to make sure because the normal default that you'll see is this here once you get into that section for those that are following step by step. But I'm going to switch this back to current and that's pretty much it. Now I need to go back to my reinvestment strategy option and in this case this is my current client. If I again have this initial conversation with my borrower and state Mr. Borrower you stated to me that you can apply an additional $150 towards your mortgage uh, that's one option so let me show you what that looks like they currently have 27 years to be paid off on their mortgage become debt free bottom line let me go ahead and populate that 150 I'm gonna go ahead and hit the tab or enter key and now if this client if your borrower sees this at this point they may be more enticed to work with this option and to go with it because they understand it. They understand that, you know what, I do not have to refinance. I'm not going to have an additional mortgage. I'm not going to add an additional few years to my mortgage whatsoever. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to be able to work with this. Now, there's a different way where you can show them that if they refinance, monthly savings shows them $146 here. I can simply go ahead and populate that number and if you'll notice that if they stay where they're currently at with $150 additionally applied it's still less one year than this current refinance so it may not be a benefit to your client right if you're looking at it that way that's exactly what's taking place but what if I was able to show my client this way great you have $150 you can apply right now what if I was to give you an additional $146 so that we can apply it towards your mortgage and now pay off your mortgage in 20 years, save you three years if you refinance with me. So right there and then what I've done, for those that don't know what I did here, is I took their initial $150, I applied it on top of the monthly savings by refinancing with this current loan because obviously their rate's going to go down and decrease their payments going to de decrease as well and I've showed them an additional benefit on how they can simply pay off their mortgage in three years sooner at that point so once I've applied that I can go ahead and select OK move on to the next step go back to presentation and now what I'd like everybody to see is for those that have the mortgage coach app downloaded we're going to go ahead and we're going to close with this demonstration Give me a moment to show you all here. We're going to generate this link.
Remember, make sure your box is notified. Sending out the presentation, you're going to generate the link there. Once you've done that, and for some reason it kicked me out, let me go ahead and go back here. Here we go. When you select Edge Live, let me go ahead and pull up the mobile app here for everyone here. There we go. Now, what I want everyone to notice is here's my application, here's my presentation here in this background. Here's my mobile app. See if I can make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Now, what you're all going to notice here is that this is my current mortgage. So, this link here again, if you want to go ahead and take this link, you can go ahead and apply the last six digits, 16J3, S as in Sam, U. When I'm walking this step by step to my client, maybe they're at practice, or maybe they're they're at a park playing with their kids, maybe they're they they're uh, they're at an airport waiting on a delay. Mr. Borrower, let's go ahead and discuss your current mortgage as we speak. What you currently have right now is a five and a quarter percent and roughly one thousand five hundred forty-six dollars. If you apply an additional one hundred fifty dollars towards your mortgage you'll roughly become debt free in right around 23 years. Now, by simply refinancing into this 30 year option, what I'm going to show you is how you, we can reduce your payment down to $1,400, save you a monthly savings of $146, which may not seem like much, but I'm going to show you, ma'am, how we can take the $146 and apply it on top of your monthly payment of 150, which means that now you can technically apply $296 back towards your mortgage and pay it off in roughly 20 years instead of staying where you're at. I'm not only just saving you in number of years to become debt free, but I'm also going to be showing you how much money I'm saving you over the course of time. So if you stay where you're currently at, Mr. Borrower, you're currently going to pay over $66,000 worth of interest over the next five years. Should you refinance, I'm going to save you a net savings of roughly $8,000 over the next five years by taking action today. And this is simply because Edge speaks volumes and it will automatically take the complicated and simplify your advice to your clients if you approach it this way. And when you're doing it with your mobile device, bottom line is that anywhere that I go, my client will also see. So again, when you're having a conversation with your realtor partners, or your clients, you have the opportunity to tell you, show your clients anything they need to see wherever they may go, and you're set, ready to go, and show them anything and any benefit. Other than that, that's my time. Um, for all that, again, that wanted to see what that link looks like, it's in the chat box. Also, if uh, you will be receiving a copy of this recording along with the image of Skip the Bagel uh, and anything on this phone call, you will automatically receive this following this call, so be expecting it. And if you have any issues, have questions uh, regarding training and so forth, you have support at mortgagecoach.com. Again, that is also accessed through the inside of Edge, through your help section here. Anything that you need will be automatically here in this Knowledge Base Center, including the Skip the Bagel uh, training video that we just showed you. Hope everyone learned something today and if you have any questions you can also feel free to email me for any type of training. Joey at mortgagecoach.com. We'll talk to everyone later. Bye-bye.